Hi, Jen. I see you came back again to volunteer some more. Can't get enough. Can't get enough. All right, today what we're going to do, and this is going to surprise you, you might like this, we're going to be moving some big fish around and even some to the pool. Cool, cool. Yes, yes, yes. So you guys stick with us and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, while we're back here, Jen's cleaning the, the green off the front of that tank since I can't get back there. It's a plastic uh, pool cover cover and it, it'll you know I'm 300 pounds it'll cave in so anytime I get a, a nice lightweight person here to help I send them back there to clean the glass off because <laughs> that is covered you can see where she's already done and you can see the green where she's heading to and now that gives you an, an idea of how big them shack koi are actually getting from uh, a year in here And then all the, the smaller ones are over here. And these are six to eight inches, or five to 10, I'd say. There's a couple big ones in there. But I'm gonna go behind here and feed them. Now watch what, yeah, it's a jungle back here. Watch how these guys are such little piggies. Let me take this off. This is the food here. Ouch. Okay, I'll put this up here. Here they go. Ah, oh, I dropped some on the floor. Look at them, they go crazy in there. And then here is the other tank. I spilled it all over trying to watch the camera and not watch the lid. But they're in there eating. And Jen's still out here cleaning. <laughs> oh, you got the most of it out of there. See, and Josh wanted me to remove the, the diving board. I was like, no, it looks good in there. <laughs> you can actually still use it because the tank ain't setting on it. It's still bolted down in the back. And you could walk out to the edge, jump on it, and, and go in the water without ever bothering the fish tank. <coughs> Excuse me. How those fish, though? Oh no. They see the splash, move away, and come back to see if you got food. <laughs> Look at that, people. You got a stingray swimming across the top of the water. That don't happen much. It's always neat when it happens. They're going right over the gar. There he goes back to the bottom. That's pretty neat. A lot of things happen that I never get on camera. And he's against the back wall and he's heading down now. You got all these guys hanging down there. Cichlid hang out in the middle there. <laughs> they go inside that hole and all kinds of things. Cichlids make any spot around here a area. Oh, look how well this uh, center plant is coming back. That's, what, two days ago we did that? Oh, wait, Jen, when was the last time you were here? That was Sunday, wasn't it? Um, no, Wednesday. What's today? Today's Wednesday. Yeah. No. You come on Wednesdays and Sundays. You were just here on Sundays. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so Monday, Tuesday, this is Wednesday. And look how much this plant has picked up since then. Cool. Okay, let's go in here and I'll explain what we figured out. Now, I just talked to Josh in Hawaii and he agrees with me. Moving this guy here, because we've got a lot more fish coming. Reaper and uh, Hoover have been doing some rescues. So, we want to move this guy, the flathead catfish. Um, and our options were the 3000 or the 750. Well, there's a much too big red tail cat in the 3000. Uh, so, unless I move him out, we can't put this guy in there because then he's in danger of being swallowed. So, we have to sort fish by size, also by type. So what we're gonna do is move him into the 750 gallon tank, and I've got Jennifer over here cleaning the glass on that. I just got done cleaning this end so I can video, and she is up front. There she is, cleaning the front. So what we're gonna do is move him in here with these guys. You got the vulture cat, we got the lungfish, clown knives, 
Um, what else is in there? Oh, there's a half a red tail cat and tiger shovel nose mix. Uh, there's this. I don't know what type of pictus it is, but it's it's a form of pictus. So he should be okay in here. And then a, a Florida gar up there. So we're going to put him into here. Let me get ready to do that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and try this. But because Hoover used my nets in the 550, my intermediate nets, I've got a large, small one, or i got a huge one. I cannot use them nets because we've got medication in that tank, and I don't want to spread the diseases. So we're going to do this one. It should be fine, but... Okay, let's get him over to this side of the tank. There he goes. <laughs> You're in there, buddy. Are you ready to go to your new home? Let me flip this up. There you go. Okay, walk around here. Now you can just video the water, and I'll put him down in there. There you go, buddy. New bigger home and your release. Come on out. There he goes. Let's go around here. Now she just cleaned all the uh the algae off the front window so it's a little hazy in there you see where he went he he's back there with those guys in that corner <laughs> he's hiding amongst the lungfish and i can't see him but now he has all this room to swim in a 750 gallon tank and nothing he can eat everything in here is bigger than him well Yeah, there's nothing in here he can eat. Them clown knives are too big. Top to bottom. There he go. Oh, no. There's another lungfish. He's behind that lungfish. We're trying to get them all to move. Well, there you guys go. You have this very unsatisfying release. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. He swam in back there and he feels secure, so that's where he's staying. Oh, there he goes. There he is. He's right back down behind him again. There he is. He don't look so big in here, huh? Let's zoom out a little bit. I mean, if we starve him, he might go after that pictus. But we're not going to starve him. We're going to keep him fed. Here he comes. He's back on this side. What's up, buddy? You got that big old mouth. <laughs> Doo -doo. He's a good-looking cat. Sort of looks like a jelly cat if it wasn't for the shape of his mouth. The way his skin looks, he looks like a jelly cat. Alrighty. Well, let's move on to the next thing. Bye, buddy. Enjoy your new home. He's already enjoying it. He didn't swim like this in that 90 gallon. Didn't have the room to. Right. He sat on one side or sat on the other. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. And I come out here to check this tank we were filling. And look. We overflowed it, so I hurried up and threw the hose back down, and now we got to vacuum this up. It happens so much. So that tank needs to hurry and go back on our system, but because it's the cold water tank, we don't have it on our system. So, yeah. <laughs> we have to fill it up every three days, and because we have water coming out via a airline coming to this, this thing here overflowing into the pool. So every three days we have to fill that back up. Well, that keeps us fresh, clean water in there for the sturgeon and nice, fresh, cold water too. But we were working in the fish room and didn't realize we're overflowing it out here. Uh, 
So you see the perils of the fish room and all the work. Jen's in there right now cleaning up a little bit of a spot of a tank that we flooded in there. Uh, the uh, Thanos' tank, I was filling it up. Because like you guys know, Reaper's tank is down three inches. Well, so was Thanos' tank, and I hate that. So I was filling it up. We forgot about it. We were doing other work, and I'm like, what is this water coming from? So Jen's in there cleaning that up, and I walk out here and find this. Two tanks we overflowed today while trying to do work. So we're doing work, but causing ourselves more work. <laughs> so goes the perils of the fish rescue. Okay, so let's go back in here. I'm going to try and catch out this arowana with my right hand in a big net while holding this big camera with the left hand. Here we go. We got him. That was easy enough. See, Josh ain't the master net catcher around here. Josh learned it from somewhere. He got it from Big Daddy. That's right. Uh, calm down, big fella. You're going to the promised land. Here we go. Look at this. It's the Garden of Eden. Here you go. Calm down. Calm down. That's it. Now we can release you. Look at you. Swim free, my friend. Swim free. Yeah, you like that. Look at that. Look how nice that looks. He's just going to cruise away. That is so awesome. So now that gives us two arowanas in the big pool pond. And the reason this recording sounds different is I made this whole video all the way to the end and forgot to turn on the mic. So now I'm in here by the computer and I have to do a voiceover. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but, you know, this sounds all the ASMR type thing, but I'm going to have to just do it for you and try and remember what the, the voice was or the uh, context was. So now over here, there's the other original arowana in the pool. I think it was Big Jack or something like that. I forget his name. And then here comes the other. No, he turned back around. There he goes. Oh, he is turning around. Come on over here. I want. I can't wait for the two of them to meet. See if they get along here. All right. Oh, see over there? That's the tank that Jennifer cleaned all the algae off. We'll look at the tank next to it. That's got a lot of algae. These things have them skylights, so there's sunlight hitting them all day. It's really rough. So um, it's a constant battle. But, okay, here goes the arowana. Uh, they're, they're both together. Look, uh-oh, uh-oh, they're going to get along. Ooh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, they're getting along. Look at that. Nice. Now we want them to start swimming together like buddies. They're so calming. There they go. Look at that. They're swimming together like buddies. That's perfect. Oh, yeah. New friends. They just became best friends. <laughs> yes, and that was a stepbrothers <laughs> mentioned there. Okay, so the Air One is doing good. They're going to be good together. They're going to get along just fine. Um... I, you know, I can't believe you can see all the way to the bottom, and it's this dark out. I mean, it's nighttime, and you can still see through this with no lights on in there. Well, lights above the pond, but the pond lights haven't worked in forever, so it used to light up and be real nice and bright in there. You can see all the way to the bottom in the dark and see the cichlids down there. Oh, and here comes Brutus. Look at him coming up here like a submarine. Look how thick he's getting. He is just so thick anymore. It's like a, a missile. <clears throat> so, uh, I've got some more filling to do on that. So, we'll just go in here and see what else we can try and move or get into or do something in here. Um... <laughs> Everything looks good there. Let's go over here. You want to try and move the Pima in? Nah, I got to wait for Josh to come back for that. We got to build some sort of... Oh, look, he's hungry. He come popping right up. As soon as he's seen me. All right, let me get this food here. There you go. Get you some. Oh! <laughs> I wish you could have heard that splash. <laughs> uh, he's fun. 
So we still have another arowana in here. He's a smaller one. There he is over there. And let me see if I can zoom in. Oh, excuse me. So he's got some growing to do. And we can put him either in the 4,000. We can put him in uh, the 750. We can put him in the 1,000. So we've got options for him. But we want to try and get all these fish out of here that we can. And then over here, let's go check on the the flathead catfish that we put in here. That we got from the Nature Center. And let's see where he's at. Nah, he's not over here. Oh, he's still in the back corner over there. There he is. Nah, he's looking good. No big bite marks or nothing. He's doing good. There's that goby. He's getting to be a monster. And, of course, the marble lungfish. Clown knife. Um... There's the royal clown knife. Look at him. He's just beautiful. Yeah, that's nice. Then we have the, uh, what's the other one in here? Oh, the Xanthic. There he is. Sorry about the phone dinging there. Um, but yeah, that's... Them, them clown knives will be getting ready to be moved into the 4400 soon. And then this guy... He's every bit of three foot, and, and everybody that comes here says, wow, he's huge. But they never, you know, they, they never think he's that big from the, the pictures and the videos. But he is a monster, and uh, everybody says he's big when he gets here, when they get here. They don't see it on the on the screen. And then here's this guy. This is the one Josh wants to move into the, the swimming pool, the pool pond, um, because he's getting a little attitude in here. He's getting, you know, big and... And just look at that face. This is something only a mother can love. <laughs> but he's uh, getting quite nippy. He's biting out the other fish and stuff like that. And we have the other one. He's back there in the back corner. And he's, he's fine. He does all right. Oh, look. Someone's, someone's biting at the side of the catfish. And it wasn't the guard bites. That was a round mouth bite. Now, see here... We want to move this um, electric eel and the uh, Mabu puffer. We want to take, we need two people to do it because we each got to grab them out and hold it in the net out here. And then, oh no, we're going to need a third person to move stuff over. So we're going to have to take water out, put in a tub down bottom, and then right there, and then another tub over here. And then we're going to have to get the fish out and hold them in their tubs. While somebody else goes and moves all this decoration from one tank to the other, then we can lift up these fish and put back in their respective, you know, the, the eel's going to go to the 265 and the puffer's coming over here to the 190. And uh, that'll give the eel a little bit more room. And uh, the puffer really don't need all that room. She's in a 265 by herself. She can go in the 190 by herself. It's, you know, six foot long, plenty of room for her. And then, uh, let me see, over here, oh, we have all the arrows over here. And these are actually really big, but they look small in this 4400. And that one there, he had a bent back when he came in from a, a injury when he was young. And, uh, oh, look at that Phoenix Barb, he's so gorgeous. And the Jardini Arowana. I like how we did them tree things in the middle. They have been a great decoration since. That's worked out really well. I could just sit here and look at these all day long. <laughs> there's that big tarpon. Oh, and there's the black arowana. He's in the thousand gallon. So we got the black one here. But we also have the high shine arrow over here in the 2200. Um, as they get bigger, we can put them in the 4400. But they're doing fine where they are right now. Let me see what else we can do here. Oh, see all this algae in here? As soon as Josh gets back from uh, Hawaii, he's got to get in the 1000, the 4400, the 2200. The 
this 1800 cichlid tank because it looks kind of clear from the camera's view but if you kind of like look at one spot on the the coral thing there you know that and then i move the camera you'll see the dirt on the window it has got algae all over it you can see it off to the left here man that's so colorful and then see here oh look there's the babies down in there there's just so many little babies look at them they're everywhere Josh says that them yellow and black striped ones, we're going to have to start catching out of there and be given away because that's ma the main part of the babies are yellow and black striped. So eventually they're going to take over. So anyway, if you like our vids and uh, you like the content, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also check out our second channel, you know, OFR Behind the Scenes. And as always, stay fishy, my friends. <laughs>